I have not given Dan Chris Rock's number because I don't want him to have the satisfaction, <laughs> Quinn. Now we're here with the beautiful, me and John here with beautiful, the, the lovely Charlotte. First of all, what about this show? What about it? The VH1 show. Yeah, it's exciting. It's called Hit the Floor. Yeah. It's about a fictitious Laker girl team and um, kind of a, doesn't have to be a Laker girl, but it's, it's about these amazing dancers and the life behind the scenes, the political backstabbing of what it takes to audition, get on a team. You have to audition every year to stay on a team. And mm -hmm. I was the star in my heyday, and now I'm the director of the team, who's sometimes nice and sometimes not, and married to a Kobe Bryant equivalent played by Rick Fox. Whoa. <laughs> yes, and we're into some interesting sexual things, which I found out, which I can't tell now. But, oh, right. Whoa. But it's definitely, you know, not a G Risque. family show. Yeah. Jesus. The dancing's really hot. It's really sexy. It's really fun to watch. Yeah, but well, how about the outfit she's wearing? Charlotte Ross is wearing this, like, leather outfit. <laughs> yeah. Me and John are trying to be professional. That's because but... you guys like it. Yeah, you guys, it's incredible. You would like to try it on. That's why. Yeah. That's and why we John? were talking about it. Kept going on and on I, about it. I didn't think I could pull the boots off. Uh, I would be I would be seven feet tall with the boots on though. But you can pull the pants off, not the <laughs> boots, but the pants. Okay, well, that's always, good because if you can pull always, off the pants, that's the trickiest part. <laughs> no, I always wanted to do the leather pants because I wanted to be Jim Morrison at, at oh, an yeah. earlier stage in my life, and I was always told that I could never get a pair; they'd never fit. I'd have to get them custom made. Oh. And uh, I don't think that's true. Uh, well, not so much now. I'm a lot less husky than I once was. <laughs> But he uh, played pro ball too. Maybe uh, do, what about the cheerleaders? Have any uh, suggestions? Any tips for the? No, I mean it, I think it sounds choreography. I, what do you suggest? I tell you what, I, I mean it stories. <laughs> Ready to write stories? What do you know about cheerleading? <laughs> I don't know much, I, but I know that those that those girls really uh, it was hotly contested. You know they would pick forty eight Raiderettes every year, and it was it was uh, yeah tooth and nail. Yeah, and they don't even make money. Like no, not Nick, much. Nick I, I want to say it was like anything. they would make a hundred bucks. It's a serious a business. Game. It's a really yeah. serious business. And our creator, our, our writer, is kind of like a young Mark Cherry. He really knows how to write female roles in every form, both young and old. And he's, you know, there's a lot of fun political drama to play behind the scenes. They did a big wide search of actors that can also dance. And a yeah. lot of the dancers used to work uh, or dance with Beyonce or So You Think You Can Dance, that show. And wow. I mean, I'm a fitness fanatic. Whenever I watch them, I just feel very humble. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the splits and then drop on the floor in the splits. I mean, it's extraordinary. So what's your background in dance that you're doing these dancey shows? I mean, this one, then you had Glee before that, where you were mother to Quinn. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot to Diana you. Diana Agron. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. it does. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of Quinns out there. We also have uh, Christine Quinn. That's right. She's going to be mayor here in yes, New York Yes, she's going to be the oh. lesbian mayor, and because I'm kind of connected with her. She's so running Quinn a, is a big through line with you. She's okay. running against a guy named I'm Wiener. Lesbianism. Are you serious? Yeah. Who, yeah. who got in trouble for tech sexting pictures of Just himself. Like pictures a... of his Wiener. Yes. Wow. Ironically you, enough. You use this on the plot of your show. Yeah. Wow, it sounds really highbrow and Thick interesting. Thick with uh, <laughs> suspense and, yeah. Okay. Highbrow. Yeah. It, it yeah. almost sounds too, yeah, too. It, doesn't it sound sounds like, like a bad M.O.W. Yeah. script. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. No, so so what real. is what is your background in, in dance that you are that you get to do these things? I mean, is this Well, I'm not dancing on the show, nor was I singing on Glee, even though, though I am a, a singer. Um, no, I think that it's just a great world to have a show based around, you know, great singers or, or great dancers. And uh -huh. this show reminds me of Glee a little bit in the fact that a lot of young, really talented unknowns that are kind of being discovered on, on the show. And, sure. and it's, you know, the singing was the backdrop for, for Ryan Murphy's show and, I mean, the through line for the show. But really, it was a great character development. What was so amazing about that show and still amazing about the show is, is the cross-generational audience from young to old. Right. So I'm hoping that ours gets <laughs> half the, the audience that Glee does because it's pretty amazing show. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be the goal, getting... Uh, that Glee was just a phenomenon. Well, it was, because I was in doubt. the beginning of the first episode and then at the end of the season and then incrementally throughout the years. And so I saw it grow. And I've yeah. been on a few series here and there, and the chances nowadays of being a hit out of the gate on a major network like that is pretty much slim to none. So I'm really thankful to take the gamble to go to VH1 because these networks that you might not w were thinking in terms of scripted shows before are now changing. Like Stars was, wasn't on the map, and then Kelsey Grammer got on. And then mm -hmm. um, TV Land got Betty White and Wendy Malick's show. And now VH1's really trying to build a strong 
uh, serious scripted um, one hour shows. And so it's kind of exciting because the network is so behind us and they're not just we're not just one of 25 shows. They're behind the monitor sure. jumping up and down. And it's the perfect network for the show to be on because of the demographic and the dancing and the music and everything. Yeah, so. there you go. It sounds like I mean, but it sounds like you've been willing to take some risks too. Glee, there was nothing like it on TV before that. And this I was, was dying to be on that because of Jane Lynch. I was dying to work with Jane Lynch yeah. and Ryan Murphy. Because Jane Lynch was, at the time, was she one like of the most underrated with? actresses, just from the Christopher Guest oh, movies. I think she's just My amazing. favorite of all time. Yeah, right? Christopher Guest, incredible director, amazing. actor. All that improv and everything. Yeah, we my I was in a band in high school where we would watch Spinal Tap every really? Saturday before practice or after practice. Leather pants and Spinal Tap. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I was we trying to pull tap. all that off. I'm getting a good picture. Yeah, no, but uh, what was it like working with Jane? Because she is just a genius. She is. She's one of the best in the business, in my opinion. I mean, to play that understated comedy without spelling it out her timing i mean i could just learn from watching her really she's yeah. just amazing i just saw her 40 feet tall in uh, times square so there's a huge <laughs> really? well, I, yeah she's doing something I heard on we're broadway in times now square right now are on fire ad yeah yeah someone really just, someone just told me that i need to check it out because so I, I. <laughs> I wander when i get done with the show i go and wander i take the subway back oh. up north and i is that you're what that, you call you're it that wandering uptown. guy town i take it uptown that we you, see it's amazing how streets. many people are in times square at two in the morning yes it's sick i don't know why they're there <laughs> when i they're was probably wondering the same thing how about do you me. know this though? when i was growing up you didn't <laughs> go to there. times square yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't go to Times Square after like it's a hangout after like six at night unless you wanted to die. There, right. there, really? There's tables but, but that's great. It's out in the middle. It's changed. To people sitting at tables yes. and lounging. It's surreal to me. Talking. I still can't believe it. I and it's like it's like, day it's from, good, all right? the, from all the from all the yeah. It's much better. I mean, it's it's not it doesn't have the the taxi driver glamour that it had, but that you glamour when you were up close was murder. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that out to a table thing. Off. I thought it was a stupid idea when Bloomberg came up with it. But really? So this is I'll new. I'll speak to Christine Quinn, and she'll put a stop to it when she there goes There you home. go. You're the inside <laughs> track. Wynn, whoever it is. When you have over for Thanksgiving. When I have her ear, exactly. Yeah. Her and her friend over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. There, <laughs> is that how it works? Her and her, yeah. I mean, do you, do you know the inside uh no, no, she's, on a, that? she's an acknowledged lesbian. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm becoming a, a New Yorker. Oh so yeah, I, I I've don't got, have. The, I've got. Yeah, I'm right in the right in the mix. There of you all go. Those. Anthony Weiner is actually from my neighborhood. I know people that knew, grew up with his brother. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm wired I into whoever Wiener. wins this election. Of course, I, mean. I know Weiner. The name Weiner threw me, but of course I know the whole Weiner yeah. sexting thing. Yeah. See that picture? It was kind of. I, Impressive, I, I thought. Uh, really? I didn't see the picture. Grossed out by it. I didn't see the picture. I was like, it's disgusting. I was like, jeez, you know, he's doing that. I unfortunately did not look that up. I did see. Poor guy. Well, I mean, I mean. Poor wife. Well, absolutely. Didn't she stick by him, too? Yeah. 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 They just had a baby. She was Hillary Clinton's, like, top aide. Yeah. Something. Um, I did see, I didn't no, see I his No, I don't feel sex. bad for him or anything. <laughs> I just, <laughs> he'll always be forever remembered for that. We're oh, the ones that have to thank poor figure. guy for getting caught. The yeah. woman should be, we're in a low life and we're supposed to pretend that we agree. Didn't but he send, meanwhile, we're like, uh. No, it's true. Didn't he send it to like six different people? Was yeah, it, he sent it, it all like over. A it's a numbers text? game. You know how it is. No. It's a numbers it's game. It's a whole bunch of people? That's so Yeah, smart. I think there were six different targets. No, it wasn't targets. Targets. It was just a one person, right? No, it was like no. six people. Yeah, wow, that's, multiple. That's you gotta sex. see who's, who's biting out there. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I saw the, uh, the Brett Favre sex. Yeah, the Brett Favre. Did you see that one too? That was just a bad angle. You can't, you know, those self shots, you gotta be careful. He, he never admitted that that was him. Uh, I think he should have re, just got uh, redone it and sent another one from a different angle and said, This is me. <laughs> you have you done I mean? that? Have you yeah. released a few? Five or no, six? No, no. <laughs> from good angles? No, I never. <laughs> I, no. my, my parents are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never, I'd never live it down. That's, yeah, we get warned about stuff like that. Yeah. Now. We have to go to break? Okay, looks like it's time for another one of those big breaks. Mike, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Charlotte could probably uh, gonna, uh, get you in a bit. Mike's trying to break away from this radio thing and go into the Hollywood business. Uh -huh. Could you get him an agent oh, or something? Oh, because he, was, he got annoyed by the sexting thing. He wanted to break up the... 
talking. I don't think that's why. I think he he no, he's was just titillated by the sex. No, I love being I love being here. Oh, there you are. Wanna, hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Very how nice are you? you? Good. Good. Thank you. I, I love the show, but I want to eventually get into movies. I love t film so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're is, so uh, sweet. Is there a part for a janitor, a slow janitor on Glee? Uh, no, Dan, we'll catch you as that, actually. Oh, yeah. Are you looking yeah. for a role? Is that, is that yeah. what we're yeah, I love, yeah, I, I did actually, yeah. one of the be best Rick things Fox's, I role in the movie a, a dinner role. No, no, yeah. seriously. I, I did a film recently called Malavita. I played a, uh, a Hasidic Jewish guy that was held up at gunpoint by De Niro. It was great. Oh. Wow. Yeah, we shot mm. that back in October. <laughs> Okay. You, that sounds wonderful. No, Is that it's true? So much fun. No, no. Everybody's yeah, it's, laughing. It's, it sounds no, wonderful. No, no, it's fucking. We're laughing. I'm just big. picturing De Niro going, listen, will somebody, Marty, tell this kid not to talk to me on the break, please? <laughs> no, 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 no. Cherry, look on IMDb. It's on there. Oh, she's not looking on IMDb. <laughs>